Good day, good day. Hey, you going? What do you know? Who'll strike a light? Good day, good day. And how you going? Just say good day, good day, good day, and you'll be right. Now we come to the portion of the service before we do our Bible study that we address some end times news and trends that are happening around the world as it relates to Bible prophecy. And as we see the frequency, as we see the intensity of the signs of the times, as the Bible lays out for us in Matthew 24, Mark 13, uh, Luke 21, um, and then you also have uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 that talks about these perilous times that we're living in, and you're seeing the fulfillment of these things coming to pass. Again, there's still a lot more to happen during this time, uh, but you see the amount of earthquakes in the various places are just popping up all over. Just even last night, there was a 6.1 earthquake off the north coast of um, Japan, but you're seeing more of these magnitudes increasing all over the world. The natural disasters from fires to floods to diseases and pestilences. Uh, Just the other day, an article came out uh, from the uh, New York Times and quite a few other uh, different posts of it, how the UN now has admitted a role in the deadly Haiti chlora uh, epidemic. So they're part of this process. So months after the earthquake that devastated them back in 2010, that you remember that seven point plus earthquake, uh, after that there was the spread of this epidemic that just uh, went all throughout the different camps there, uh, where there's thousands of displaced families. The scientists have tracked the uh, outbreak to base the housing of the United Nations peacekeeper sent from Nepal to assist the recovery efforts. But for years, the UN has refused to accept responsibility to introduce uh, a disease that has killed you know, close to 10,000 people. But this is part of the UN. This is part of their population control. And you'll see it as part of the 2030 agenda. There is a population control. So sometimes they're going to release certain pestilences and diseases uh, to wipe people out. And now it sounds weird, but this is part of their agenda. Uh, We see the uh, issues of uh, immorality, the LGBTQ community, and the uh, homosexuality. There was a a report that just came out uh, from uh, CNS uh, News from John Hawkins University. Uh, There's a a chief um, psychiatrist uh, there at the hospital for 40 years, and he did this study um, that uh, said it's a scientific fact that there is no gay gene. And this is something that the community is really pushing. This is how we're born. No, we're all born sinners. We're all born this way. So there's not a tendency there. But what he did say is environment was important. So, and, and within this particular lifestyle, it's more of a recruitment because you can't reproduce in this type of lifestyle. So they recruit. So environment is huge. And this is where you're having the same sex trying to adopt uh, kids, You know, and they want to have the same parental rights, but this is all part of recruitment as well uh, for that lifestyle. Um, But uh, there's this confusion between desire and love, as they uh, said in this particular article. So, uh, again, everyone's a sinner. Everyone needs to be treated equally. You know, one sin is not greater than another sin. Jesus died for all sin, you know. Um, So we need to uh, keep that in mind and not treat these uh, uh, people any differently. On the issue of religion, uh, apostasy, the falling away is happening quickly. The deception that's crept into the church, the false doctrines, and we'll touch on some of that uh, in this morning's message, and the persecution. On a daily scale, we're seeing the persecution rising up. Um, This one came out on Friday, how Muslim armies in the Democratic Republic Republic of Congo uh, are entering Christian villages and destroying an entire village and hacking Christians to pieces with machetes. This is a daily occurrence that's happening in these Islamic countries. In the last six days, uh, from uh, August 6th to uh, August 12th, there was 51 attacks, Islamic attacks, uh, 392 killed, uh, 330 injured, eight suicide blasts and f- in 15 countries in all these different areas. So you're seeing there's going to be increasing of these attacks in these last days. On a technological issue, we've seen the advances of science and uh, technology and computers, the cyber terrorism. But here's another interesting uh, piece of information. I'm sure you're, you're all aware of it. But how technology traces and keeps control of everything that we do. Uh, everything that we do online is stored, duplicated, and shared. 
Uh, our mobile technology uh, does the same thing. Again, the process enables our devices. Uh, they're keeping track of phone records, text messages, you name it. Uh, and here's some of the things that you see with technology. Our online banking system, and again, as easy and as efficient it as it is, and this is part of the way of doing away with the, the cash, and it's going to a cashless society very quickly. Uh, so it's got you know about six years left here in Australia before it goes cashless. Um, but uh, every transaction is recorded and monitored. So they're keeping track of what you're spending money on, what you're doing, things like that. Uh, automobile computerization. As we know these days, it's more computerized. And so uh, most of the cars since 2016 have this integrated computer components which records and transmit navigation data. So it keeps track of these things. Even uh, from my understanding, there's certain cars that they won't go over certain <clears throat> speed limits because they have a computer chip in there or they monitor it. So you said you didn't go over 150 kilometers. Well, let's check the uh, computer chip in your car. You know, so they can do that these days. Uh, uh, roadway sensors, cameras on uh, the uh, streetlights. You get speeding tickets. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. So I got one the other day. Blackburn and Burwood Highway. Saw my ticket, and then it says you can go online to take a you know, look at your photo. Looked at it. Uh, you can't tell you're going that fast. So I was only two kilometers over, by the way. So, uh, but you see all these interest. You know the the uh, you know the the monitoring of everything out there. Social media. They're keeping track of your posts on Twitter or Facebook or your emails. Uh, air travel, they get your, your flight schedules, uh, locations are all logged in a database. Um, uh, you have snail mail. Every piece of mail uh, that comes into your home is scanned and goes through a permanent online database. So, so, so you're starting to see the technology these days to monitor everything that we do. Even your utility usages, your electricity and u- water usage and all those sort of things are monitored and recorded. So this is what's happening of the technology these days. Another issue to, to see on the signs of the times, of course, is Israel. And you see the surrounding countries, the, the, the rat- you know, gearing up for war. Uh, Hezbollah's continue uh, having these reports that they're going to be launching their missiles into uh, Israel. Uh, but we also see Psalm 83, Ezekiel 38, 39, really starting to come closer and closer and closer together. Uh, the invasion there, the rebuilding of the third temple, they're getting ready. Everything, they're training the, the priest right now for that to happen. So we're getting uh, very close to that period of time. And of course, the nations, the wars, rumors of wars, kingdoms, the government. Globalization is a big word these days, and it's another word for the new world order and uh, the one world system. Um, and, and another term again for that again is globalization, globalism. Uh, different various organizations are playing right into this. Many countries are all linked up into this. Uh, the biggest part is United Nations. Uh, then you have uh, NATO as part of it, European Union. Uh, but then you also have NAFTA, which is the North American Trade uh, Association. And also the big one that's getting passed real soon is the TPP, you know, which is just a, 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 a scam. It's a, it's a, a disaster. Uh, but here's what we're going to know and what the Bible tells us. The Antichrist will come in and he's going to rule this one world uh, system and uh, during the tribulation. So the stage is being set ever so um, effectively and quickly in these last days. And, and, and one of the biggest components of this is a man named George Soros. Uh, he is one of the biggest funders of this and proponents of it. Uh, he is all donating to not only the Clinton uh, campaign, but also the Black Lives Matter and all these other things to get into this whole globalization, new world order uh, system. Uh, but here's some things that have been happening along the way to get to this point. And it's taken years. And one of the things that they've done is they've been indoctrinating not the elderly, but the kids. Going from back to my generation, you know, 30 plus years ago, they're starting to use um, not only technology, but the TV, uh, the cartoons, you know, putting stuff in, even in Scooby-Doo, you know, as fun as that is. But you see the, the little things in there, the Smurfs and all the other different shows that they had. Uh, but their strategy, again, even you see on the, um, the movies today and the TV, 
is the mood, uh, movies to, to promote this agenda. Um, you know, the, the press, the radio, the TV, cinemas, uh, and you can tell the success they've had over the last 50 years if you're to track it um, with the uh, movies that have been coming out, uh, the advertising that's coming out. People are so desensitized uh, to these things these days uh, where you're, you're seeing these whole Luciferian control of the media. Uh, even in the news agencies, it's, you know, they're supposed to be reporting news, but it's, there's other things that are going on there. Uh, but the money that's pumped into the sex outside of marriage is thrown in your face some you know, hundreds of times in all these shows. Um, you know, the promiscuity is being promoted as natural. Um, and, and you just watch this stuff all over the place. Um, you see how they take God and prayer and uh, out of the education system, out of the country. You, you know, people don't swear, uh, take an oath of office out of the Bible anymore. Um, or if you quote from the Bible or you have it on uh, a verse on your desk, it's called hate speech now. Um, so it's, you see how far they're going. Even the Judeo-Christian, uh, you know, structure, the traditional conservative uh, um, you know, family structure, you know, the uh, one way that they're trying to uh, dismiss that, dismiss that is the whole sexual promiscuity, making children feel that they shouldn't be proud, uh, you know, uh, of being a conservative traditional home. You know, that's just so such a weird term these days. Um, And because of the promiscuity that's uh, crept into society, this is where the whole push for making abortion legal, uh, where it's a, a, a form of birth control. Uh, and you see that if a, a woman doesn't want to be pregnant, uh, she should have the freedom to get rid of the pregnancy as painless and as easy as possible. And now they're implementing where they, if they're in school, they don't have to have a parent uh, consent to do this as well. Um, and then the, the, the whole push and the agenda of the homosexuality, making it alternative lifestyle. You've seen that push, that agenda so quickly. And then, of course, the interfaith, um, coexist one world religion, uh, especially pushed so hard like never before by the current Pope uh, Francis, who's helped f- uh, facilitating this whole ecumenical movement um, it, where he even says atheists will go to heaven, you know, as far as fetching as that, um, if they're trying to be good enough. Uh, and, and, you, and you see how the government's trying to make all these laws um, to make all this stuff legal. Um, and again, this whole uh, political correctness that's going on. You can't say, you know, or have an opinion about it without being called, you know, hate speech. You know, the world is getting too sensitive. We're soon where you can't uh, uh, make fun of yourself without offending someone, you know. Um, but we go on and on and on about these different news articles and uh, news clippings and information. But let me close with this um, blog that uh, was posted the other day by Jan Merkel, and it was called uh, The Pulpits Are Silent, and this is something that's happening in in so many churches around the world. Um, She's writing from the U.S., so this is kind of her uh, frame of uh, reference, Um, but she said this, what an incredible times we live in like no previous generation. The world is heading for a conclusion where nobody knows the timing on this. Uh, But we're all having the privilege of looking at the signs like the clouds are forming in the horizon. In the 1970s, there were only a few events of prophecies that was happening. Uh, There were minor shakings, but uh, uh, sometimes connecting the dots even was a stretch. Fast forward to today. And there are so many prophecy-related events that are happening daily, hourly, uh, which presents a major dilemma for those who are watching us and the signs of the times know that we're just fools because they're just thinking you're weird by believing this sort of stuff or seeing these things. And she says as she was posting this uh, on her daily uh, website, uh, agonizing what she needs to leave off. Uh, if there's any space, because time won't allow for uh, readers to zero on and all that is happening. Uh, It is a privilege and a challenge to be born in such a time as this. Uh, Very little has predicted uh, to happen in the last days uh, is good news. Uh, And so who wants to be reading all the bad news? Uh, But if anyone can look up, and, and bear the heartache of looking around at the signs of the times explode in our news outlets. Uh, the Bible has uh, asked us to be a watchman, as Ezekiel 33 talks about. Uh, we're to be a sounding alarm, 
Troubles ahead. Time is short. And we have never felt such a, a sense of urgency realize, at the realization that the time indeed is short. And I'm going to pause there, and uh, you can read the, their article later on. But that is so true. Time is short. It's just like we're coming down to that photo finish. That's how close we are on this final race. The, the baton's been passed to us to finish this race strong. We need to reach as many people uh, with the gospel uh, as possible. And uh, so again, we need to be aware of what's happening on the signs of the times. We need to be discerning what's going on around us. And what does the Bible say, you know, and not let it uh, shipwreck our faith as we're walking with the Lord. Uh, But these are times that we need to be closer and closer to the Lord and to one another. Amen. And that concludes today's update.